Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of converting units. This is standard 7.4e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 9 of the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a building has a height of 15 feet. That is a very small building. So we're assuming that is a one-story building. All right, so we'll just say this right here is 15 feet. All right, so there are approximately 3.28 feet in one meter. All right, so let's put that right here, 3 and 2,800 feet equals one meter. So which measurement is closest to the height of the building in meters? So we're converting this 15 feet into the meters. And you notice that they had to give us this uh, conversion here, because if we look at our reference materials, we're not going to see any of those conversions because the conversions we get here like look at the bottom left you're going to see the customary mile to yards yard to feet foot to inches that stays within the customary uh, measurement system over on the right you see kilometer to meter meter to centimeter centimeter to millimeters that stays within the metric system so when you're switching between one or the other between right so this 328 feet is going to be our customary and then the meter is going to be the metric. It's going to be a not so pretty conversion. That's why you get three and 2,800 feet into each meter. And it's, and that's even an approximate, right? So it's probably, if we were to go to the decimal, it's going to get even more, uh, smaller and smaller than that. So how are we going to convert this? Well, this, let's just take this total here, because this is my total. Uh, flip it like this so we can see it in a strip diagram. All right, so I've got 15 feet. Inside that are meters, and each meter is going to be approximately 3.28 feet. So here's my question. My question is, how many 3.28s can I get out of the 15? Okay? Now, another way to think about this would be to look at it as a proportion, right? So if I were to say... 3.28 feet, let's make sure we keep our units there, uh, is to one meter as, and then I'm going to keep my feet across from feet, 15 feet, is to x meters, right? So we got our feet across from feet, we can cross multiply. So 3.28x equals, and then 15 times 1 is just 15. So it looks like we're going to need to divide 15 by 3.28, which is what this representation shows us as well. We need to divide the whole by the parts, see how many parts there are. So let's do that. 3.28, 15. Now we really don't want a decimal in our divisor. So let's multiply it by 100. Boom, boom, to get that over there, which means we have to multiply this by 100 to get that over there. All right, so it's not going to be a full 5, because that'd be over 15. So I'm going to guess it's going to be 4. Let's see what that looks like. It's 32. It's 8, 11, 12, 13. All right, so 13, 12. Got to do a little subtraction here. It's going to be 8. It's 8. All right, 188 looks good. Four point. Now 188. Let's add a zero. 1880. I bet you I can get five on that one. So I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to add a 328. It's the same as multiplying by five. Is take it by four, and add the 328. 1640. All right, and so we've got two, four, zero. Zero. And look, I've got a 4.5, and we're getting there. And I've only got that one left, that 7, and that sounds about right, so our answer is A.